Hello, bonjour, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and special thanks to those who subscribe to my channel. Today's video would be about the game battle group and called Advanced Training, Part 8, Anti-Aircraft Fire. To protect your unit against airstrike, you will need some air defense capabilities. When you shoot at the aircraft, you always use suppressing fire table. Any unit firing at an airplane can do so from anywhere on the table. Those weapons are anti-aircraft weapons like the 88, infantry small arm depending on the number of soldiers, machine gun, and pintle mounted machine gun on some vehicle. Some anti-aircraft weapons are made of multiple barrel, like the American M16 off track with 4.50 cal MG and the M15 off track with 2 MG.50 cal. Both vehicles are considered multiple medium MG and the rate of fire is 10. So when we look at the table, suppressing fire with more than 9, it needs a 6 to hit. But because it's a multi-barrel, you don't have one dice, but two dice. Your air defense may also be like the German here with the Wehrbelwin. It has four auto cannon mounted, 20 mm. So the maximum is 10, but because it's an auto cannon, we go on the table of suppressing fire. And HE from very light gun, you need to roll a 5 plus. But because it's more than one gun, it's a mutual barrel gun, you have two dice and need to roll a 5 to hit. When you use the suppressing fire table, when you hit, usually the enemy team will do a cover save to see if it is fine or pin. In the case of another plane, there's no such thing in the sky of roll for a cover save. What happened is, for example, this time the German of shooting at the British Typhoon, he pinned, he would roll another dice. If we roll a four or plus, he would hit the airplane and have the airplane receive one hit. When we look at the table of the Typhoon, it can receive four hit before being destroyed. If the aircraft take any damage, it must take a morale test. When we look at the table for moral test, aircraft, if you roll a 1, the airplane will go back to base. 2 or higher, it will be fine and stay on the sky over the battlefield. If an aircraft take enough hit, it can be shut down. We know the Typhoon, when we look at the table, can take 4 hit before being shut down. Let's see, that was its 4th hit. The plane crashed to the ground. It had been destroyed. Usually, when you lose a unit, you take one battle counter. In the case of an airplane, because the effect of the battlefield is so big, battle group decide when the airplane is shut down, the British, for example, with the Typhoon, will take two battle counter. To make it very easy to understand, I will make some example of air defense fire against the Typhoon. As all air attack happen usually during the British attacking the German, the German don't don't have any order to fire air defense. That's why it's really important if you want to be able to have air defense capability against airplane to choose some unit and give them the order and bush fire in previous turn. In those cases they would be on standby until they need against other unit or against an airplane. So we have here a half track with a pistol MG, one over there. Even if the distance is way greater to hit, the roll is always maximum distance, so both will need a 6 to hit. So regardless how far he is on the table, battle group consider the airplane when it fly in, it may fly from any direction, and it's just moving constantly. When we stop it to roll against, it's just like a snapshot, it's diving, shooting, and move out. So that's why they allow you to fire from any range on the table. We have the Typhoon here, it's just flying over about a range of 10 inches from the target. We place the airplane. That is movement part. The second part would be firing at the unit and it can choose whatever you want in that case. That's the moment where the German may declare ambush fire against the airplane. In this case, for example, we may take the infantry here. There's at least five guys, so that means the rate of fire is five or more. 
that ranges between 20 and 30 inches. You need to roll six ambush fire, ambush fire allow you to roll two dice. So it will roll two dice and need a six. We roll, got five three, nothing happened. The airplane will continue its attack. Or if you have many ambush fire, you may choose another one to shoot again. You may let's see we take another one to ambush fire and we use the half track over here. It need a six, we roll and we get a five six, we have one hit. As I explained earlier, when an airplane is hit, it will break off and leave without doing his attack. That's the first thing. Second thing is we need to know if the suppressing fire just scare him away or get a hit against the airplane. In that case, to do that, we roll one dice. We get a two, nothing happened, there's no hit. He continued and fly back in the sky trying to look for a new target. British turn again, he bring his typhoon again to try to hit the uh, German squad. He's about 10 inches from the target. We place the typhoon. The German gonna use again ambush fire, but this time from this dedicated quad 20 millimeter auto cannon over there. Regardless of the distance, doesn't change anything. But as I said earlier, because it's a quad weapon, he can roll two dice, and in this case, it's an auto cannon. It's a very light gun. He need only to roll a five plus. He fired two times, fire fire. So two dice each time, four dice. We can roll them all in the same time. Let's see. He got five, one hit. The airplane will be forced to break off, but we need to know if he got hit. So we roll one dice. He got six. The airplane has been hit. The same way it goes with a small arm like the Pintol MG or any MG or the infantry team. If he get one, if he get roll a hit, the airplane get one hit. When it's a quad to a craft. He rolled two dice. Then when we roll to hit, we roll one, eye, one dice. If he get hit, he receive two hit. In this case, we roll moral test to see if he stay on the battlefield or he go back to his airfield. We roll, he got a three, he stay in the, over in the sky, but he got two hit. That complete advanced training for anti-aircraft fire. If you have any comment, please write them in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.